colour. So I shouldn't be showing this. I had to stop myself from that. I'm realising that I'm getting into that category now. I bet you I get there and it's like boring grey. Oh my gosh. You'll have to catch up on Monday. So I think it's going to be one of those new re revelation for me. Already I don't have any space. And I honestly feel it makes a difference. <laughs> I have just got rubbed back from running my playgroup that I do and I've had so many compliments about this dress. I think it's the colour. It is so bright and everybody's still sort of wearing kind of wintry autumn clothes. But when you wear colour suddenly, when spring's coming, people really seem to notice. But I always get so many compliments when I wear this colour. So anyway, this is the crew clothing dress that I was given last week, I think it was. It's kind of, I want to say it's linen. I think it's like a linen combination. It's got a lovely kind of flowing skirt to it. So I've been wearing that, but a few things have arrived that I'm going to try on and see what they look like. So I'm not sure you can see there, but my var, in fact, you can't really see at all, can you? My Varley parcel has arrived and I was praying that I would open it up and I wouldn't like the colours and that it wouldn't fit. And unfortunately, I love the colour and it fits. I'm really upset. I'm really annoyed it's actually really nice. So it's got a zip that runs all the way down. Can you see there? Let me just try and straighten me up. So you can actually make this shorter or um, more leggy if you wanted, not shorter, but shorter. A shorter zip is what I'm trying to say. And then it kind of goes around here. It's got these sleeves. So a lot of them on the website don't have these sleeves, but I really wanted the sleeves. I feel like it's sold out, so I shouldn't be showing this, but they might have more in different colours. This is kind of like a taupey beige colour. Really like it. Do you know what? It's just super soft. I feel like I'm wearing, I can't describe it, Just it just feels lovely. The sleeves are quite big, aren't they? And then I also got this, which again, I'm hoping that I'm going to hate. Everyone got, keep your fingers crossed, that it's going to be awful. So it's a kind of, I feel like it's an old school kind of cardigan. I love it. Oh, this is so annoying. Oh, it's so nice. Really nice, isn't it? Is it really nice? I like it. I wish I got the shorts as well. I had to stop myself. I was that. I just thought for on the plane, I could put this, pop this on and have it as an extra layer when we're away. Obviously not done up like that. I think it needs to be more preppy perhaps i like this or maybe not even done up just have it open cut the sleeves it is so nice i'm so annoyed it's so nice i really love it that is annoying isn't it when you like things i was just going to come here and see if the light was any better but it's really not i've also got a delivery so this is from shoeaholics they sell lots of different brands on there and they always have great sales. So I've gone for some Carvella trainers. So Carvella, I always think of like, I don't know, this sounds really, really old ladies. However, I think I'm realizing that I'm getting into that category now and they do make really nice comfy shoes. So let me try and open this up. I have got some, tr oh, they're a bit slick. They're a bit bling. There were blingier ones than this, trust me. Really nice. Can you see that? Oh, I meant to order some trainer socks, but I didn't do that today. To go with this. So I thought these look mega comfy. I hope they are. Really bad idea to wear new shoes when you're going away, isn't it? What size are they? Everything either looks big or small to me. Yeah, my size. Anyway, they're quite bling. I do like the gold. Let's try and get them in focus. For you to see so i thought they're quite nice they did have some really gold ones and i thought my husband might be like you've lost the plot whereas these have got bits of gold and bits of beige i think they go quite nicely with this so i'm gonna put them on oh what do you think can you see, can you actually see them there there we go i thought for like traveling this is quite a good comfy look i'm not a trainer girl I'm a heel girl, so I find it a bit uncomfortable. But they actually feel quite nice to wear. A bit bling. 
okay but i do like them so these are for bella and then they've also sent me really kindly a bag kind of goes with it which i think i'm going to use for my camera so i really want to take my big camera away with me with all my lenses so it's all packaged up hold on it looks like this so it's kind of like a cream white i would say leather let's see how big it is obviously it's packed inside with stuff zip pocket so here we go i think that'll be really useful for walking around where have i told you where i'm going i don't know if i have for walking around the city it's got straps on the back really useful bag i think i can get my camera in there maybe one lens and then a purse sunglasses suntan lotion i must pack some suntan lotion i'm really hoping it's gonna be hot but i bet you i get there and it's like pouring rain and i'll have packed all the wrong stuff so i think that could be really useful so my plan is to put this bag inside this bag I don't know why I need so many bags. You're probably like, why do you need so many bags? But I feel like I need bags for magazines and stuff. Well, basically, I want to wear this. And then when I get to the going through the plane bit, I'll have to put it in here. Be like, yes, it's one bag. Can you get away with that these days? I don't know. I've got a tiny bag that I have to share with my husband. I was like, that's not going to work. So I've started packing. And he said it should only take five minutes because you've got no space. So... Uh, I figured like that's an extra bag. Don't know if that'll work. Anyway, and then I can have that when well, I can take it out when I've when I'm walking round, but I have it as an extra bag. I think that's quite nice. Oh, I really love this. I wish I got the shorts. I'm really upset I didn't. And the problem with that web the website is that it sells out pretty much straight away. So this is a small um I think it's a 10. Normally I'd get a 12, especially for up top, and um, it's fine. But I can't eat too many Portuguese tarts, I think. I'm definitely not going to be able to eat those. I will be eating loads, don't worry. But I'm just going to have to really be good next week. Talking of that, I haven't had any lunch or anything to eat. I've been fasting all morning. It's one o'clock. I'm going to have some berries, nuts, yogurt, and a coffee. Little treat. And, and dates and also some almond butter. I love almond butter at the moment. So almond butter, dates, load of berries, fruit, uh, dry, some dried fruit, seeds, yogurts. I love it, it's my favorite at the moment. It's such nice weather at the All I did yesterday was moan about the weather, isn't it? But today it's such a nice day that I'm gonna sit outside, have my coffee and my lovely breakfast stroke, brunch stroke, lunch and enjoy. And then I really need to crack on with some work. out but I wanted to show you what I'm wearing. So I've got on this red dress that I was wearing last Friday night. So it's a phase eight one. It's new on the website now. I love it. It's got amazing sleeves. Can you see there? And it goes into this V, cuts here and then it goes all the way down. If I can get far back I can show you. I put it on with blue wedges and then I've got a denim jacket which I'm going to put with it because I think it's going to be quite cold. Do you like the outfit? Matilda's watching me. Yes. Good. I'm off out for dinner. And then a bag that's just gonna be like that. So I've kind of tried to dress it down because it's a bit dressy and we're going out for a Thai meal for one of my daughter's classes. So I'm just getting everything ready. I've got my bangles. Oh, I forgot to show you, I got this. This was the other thing I got from, oh, it's stuck from Katie Loxton. Do you remember the other day I did a order with her? So on the website, they actually do jewellery, they do watches. So this is this one I got on there as well. Quite like it the other way around. I don't think you meant to wear it like that. Like that. Can't really see, but you get the idea. So I'm off out now to go and have a lovely meal. Can't wait. I've had Thai for ages. I'm very excited. Obviously not very good for the diet. But I'll start again on Monday, it's Thursday now. And I think that's all I need to report after my long, lovely walk that I had. I'm gonna try and put some podcast recommendations below in case you're interested at all. I absolutely love podcasts. Anyway, I better go because I'm being picked up, which is nice as well, I don't have to drive for once. Good morning, oh my gosh. This guy is hard, I can't even do it. Look, I'm supposed to be on 40 resistance, I'm on 20, I literally, can't have my wish changed the there we go, got that one. Two. It's really hard. 
and now he wants me to get out the saddle and go high. I'm like, no, I can't even do this. Oh my gosh, it's so hard. I think I'm just really not cut out to cycle. Good afternoon, what a change. It's pouring, it's really not very nice. So yesterday it was glorious sunshine. I've just been in the post office and we always chat about the weather. Oh, look, I've got my sunglasses on, it's not even sunny. What is going on with this weather and the post office man was like oh it's awful i was like yeah it's horrendous considering yesterday i was literally in shorts it was so nice so today i have done billions of errands and stuff like that and i think it's exciting because tomorrow we're leaving really early for the airport so we i think we have to leave I don't know, my husband likes to leave ridiculously early. Like if the flight is at 12, we have to leave at like six or something stupid. So I think we're leaving about that time. Uh, I'm gonna be knackered, aren't we? Anyway, it'd be nice, it'd be so nice. We're leaving in the morning and then we will be back Monday night. So you'll have to catch up on Monday on next week's vlog. I always do these vlogs for a whole week, but they go live on the Tuesday morning at six. 30 a.m. Oh my gosh, it's pouring now. I'm just out trying to get my steps in because I'm really worried about all the eating that's coming up and the drinking. We're going with another couple who we've known for millions of years and they like eating and drinking like us. So I think it's gonna be one of those amazing weekends of eating and drinking. So I just thought I'd better go and get some exercise in before they all come home from school. I've just been packing my sandals. I really hope it's sunny. I need to like double check what the weather is doing there. So one friend is already there. So I'm going to text her and say, what's going on with the weather? Because do I need to bring my wellies or do I need to bring my flip flops? What's the situation out there? I've managed to find the suntan lotion that I normally take away with me. So I'm going to pack that with us and then try and pack as tightly and as small as I can because as I say, we've got one tiny bag between us. I bought one of those reusable sets for all my toiletries, which I've never really bought before. I always just take the whole lot with me, but this time I was like, I actually have to really think about space. So I'm gonna have to decant it all, which I'm not looking forward to because I don't think it's gonna work. Like pouring bits into the bottle and then what do you do with it? If you don't use it all, then you have to re, I don't know. But anyway, it's probably a much better way of doing it. Often when I take big products, they tend to leak everywhere. So maybe this is a new rev revelation for me. It is so wet. I don't know what's going on. I've got a hole in my welly. So basically I'm walking, my so whole sock is wet. My whole foot is wet, but I'm still walking. This is how committed I am to the 10,000 steps. I haven't done any today. I went obviously on the peloton this morning. I did then an arms workout and a hips workout. It wasn't a hips, it was a bum workout. And then finished, but then I've just been doing work, which is good. Anyway, I'll show you some of my packing later on. I'm cooking tonight for a load of people that are coming over, which is probably not a good timing, is it? If I'm going away, but I'm very excited. Can't wait to show you where we're going and what we're up to. So I'm literally decanting all these things to take with me. Last time I packed this, it just leaked the whole over my bag. I was only going down south, but I was like, I am not doing that again. This bottle just leaks. And obviously look, it's cracked now. So I'm definitely not going to take this massive bottle with me. And plus I don't have the space for it. So I'm packing most things. Let me show you. I don't know whether to take this dress or not. I feel like, like it needs a really good iron. And, and then when I get there, it will need an iron too. And I just think, mm, is that a good idea? Yeah, I'm thinking, should I take this kind of khaki green, olive green dress? So this is a Hobbs one. It's from their limited collection. And what's it called? Claremont dress. It looks kind of olive green. It's really nice colour, I promise you. It just can't really sit on here. I'm thinking, should I take that? And then this blue one which I'm in love with, that I don't think I need to iron. This one here, I think I'm gonna take that, I'm not sure. I'm just gonna hang them up here because I can't decide what to do. Let's put the TV away, there we go. So this one, 
And then should I take this one? This is my packing. This is the size of the suitcase, guys. This, I think this side is mine. This side is my husband's. That's all his stuff that he still needs to sort out. So already I don't have any space. I'm gonna take, should I take two pairs of shoes or not? Cause I'm gonna wear, wear those trainers. That's not going to go down, is it? I'm gonna get rid of this. This is my little mini bag that I love to take away with me because I can just fit everything in it that I need, essentials. So it's a Meg and B bag, can you see there? And you can slot it on a belt if you wanted to. But I normally have it for going out for dinners and stuff like that. So why is it not all going down? All right, so I've got one shoe in. <laughs> need to find the other shoe. I was just looking to see what would go in. Not much. Got my GHDs, the ones that curl because I feel like I'm gonna need some some wave when I'm there. I've got those heels, so I feel like if I've got those heels, probably shouldn't take these heels because also they're brand new and they might hurt, you know, when brand new shoes hurt. However, I do really like them. I'm really not good at packing. I've got a few little Charlotte Tilbury bits that I'm gonna bring if I can fit them in. So this is their facial oil, which is really nice and soothing on the skin. I really love it. This is their glow toner, which is lovely as well. And then I've got a little mini magic cream. I love their magic cream, massive fan of them, as you know. So I need to have that under my makeup. I use that as a primer and I really love, love it. So it's a great product. I just thought if I can fit these in, I'm gonna take those because I'm hoping we're gonna have some time to relax. Although one of the ladies going has just texted and said, do we wanna do a tour? And I'm like, oh, yeah, I do want to do a talk. But I was thinking, oh, my gosh, I want to also relax. So I'm hoping we get some relaxing done too. And then I've got, what else have I got? I've just put some Elemis cleanser in here. So I've got a little pot, which is good, so I don't have to take the whole thing. And, oh, I've got my magnesium pills, which look a bit dodgy, actually, in this. Put my magnesium pills. Yeah, I love magnesium. Um, I've just put two in. I take one at night before I go to bed. And I honestly feel it makes a difference. My husband thinks it's a load of mumbo jumbo, but I I often wake up in the night worrying, panicking. I'm very anxious just about anything and everything. And I really swear that when I take these, I don't wake up till the next morning. And I probably have dreams and I do probably wake up, but I don't think, I don't remember it in the morning. Whereas when I don't take these, I really notice um, should I show you the magnesium I've got as well? Before I get the magnesium, this is the other dress that I think I'm going to take because, again, it doesn't need ironing. It's the one I had on last night. I, get, I got so many compliments and I think it's easy to wear. I can eat those Portuguese tarts and not feel like I won't be able to breathe. So <laughs> I think I'll back that too. I'm really worried about getting all this in there. Hmm. This is not looking good, is it? I think I'm going to have to go with one pair of heels and one pair of trainers and that's it. It's worrying, it's really, oh, this is like, mm. Oh, there we are. It's very heavy. We've got a balcony here. And we're out the back. It's very sweet, isn't it? We are going to go and get some food and explore and have a little look around. We're all a bit hungry. Why don't you get a little sun lounge? We've not got that. That's quite cool. Very nice rooms though.
Yo. Good morning, um, I'm rather tired you know, We are up and ready to go exploring more. We had the most amazing meal last night. Went for a taster menu and it was a really cool restaurant. I'll put a link to it below so you can go and find it, but the staff were amazing. The food was so good. I love a taster menu. And we actually had the wine pairing with it, which was so amazing. I love doing wine pairings because you get to try all these different wines and experience different flavours and I just really think it's a special thing to do so I love doing them. We also went to Time Out Food Market where it was just like a big hall you saw with lots of different stands with different food all the way around. We had these croquettes and I'm not joking they were amazing and I was watching what people were eating opposite us and around us Oh my gosh, it was just wow. So far I've been like totally impressed with like the food. Um, we also had a bit of port flights. I don't know if you saw, we had four different ports that we were trying. It was so nice. As you can see, it's a very boozy eating weekend. We're off to find some breakfast now this morning. And then we're going to do a tour around. We might do a bus tour. Quite a lot to do and see. So today it's a bit grey, which is really annoying. I think tomorrow it's supposed to be nicer. But today is supposed to be a bit rainy and a bit grey. I mean, it could be worse. We could be in England where it's absolutely pouring at the moment. So I'm very grateful for that. And to be having a nice weekend away with my husband, it's so lovely. But I've just so enjoyed doing this and having this time together. So I was like, we really need to do it more. So I'm hoping we can make some plans to do this sort of thing more often. It's also great to come and see somewhere. I think it was two and a half hours on the flight. And we went from Manchester. It's really not that far. It takes me four hours to drive home to see my parents, so it's like really not that far. And we're in another country and we get to experience this amazing culture. I'm loving the architecture. I've got some really cool houses off the back of here. People are coming out with their coffee to sit on the balcony. So I'm going to take my camera out with me and try and get some really nice photos of Lisbon um, so I can really capture the beauty of it. Like. The architecture is really cool, I love it. It's very kind of quirky, it's a, I don't know how to tr describe it. Some, it reminds me a bit of being in Spain, but then not. I don't know, it's got a kind of French vibe to it with all the railings. It's a really pretty place, very hilly. I'm so glad I brought trainers. So I packed with me the trainers from Carvella and the rucksack from Carvella. Both have been so useful. The rucksack fits my camera really nicely in my purse and that's it and then in my uh, with the trainers I found them really comfortable yesterday they're quite um, chunky and I find that sometimes when you buy like I've had so many recycled trainers and that sort of thing so we're waiting for our friends because they're gonna knock on the door and we're going to all go down and find some nice coffee and do you know what a Portuguese tart my husband's like let's go across and I was like I want a Portuguese tart I, we had one yesterday and oh my god they were amazing. Literally bit, like bit into it and it's like the most amazing hot pastry and then inside the 
like it was just delicious i was like oh my gosh i would just be so big if i lived here i just eat those all the time they're so good so i'm hoping we can find that shop again although they're everywhere they're literally everywhere so we're gonna go and find some portuguese tarts and coffee i think today's gonna be very foodie and drinking as well so yeah i'm really looking forward to it can't wait <laughs> 